Hello, everyone. We hope you're all healthy and having a wonderful day today. We are Richly. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with yet another exciting video. Ethereum is the biggest crypto opportunity in 2021. JP Morgan are trusting Ethereum 2.0. Before we get started, subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, JP Morgan will delete your bank account. Don't miss out. Stick around until the end of the video for the JP Morgan report on Ethereum. We know all of you at some point in your life came across this question. This question still intrigues many investors and billionaires and causes sleepless nights for many new traders who just got started. There are a variety of cryptocurrencies from which to pick. Which one is the best fit for you? Cryptocurrency prices are continuing to fall, making this a good time to buy. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin each have their own set of benefits and drawbacks. The cryptocurrency you select will be determined by several variables. Cryptocurrencies have had an eventful year thus far. They've been on a roller coaster of ups and downs, hitting record breaking highs and then plummeting a few months later. Many big cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, are in a bear market. Bitcoin's price has plummeted over 35% in the previous two months, Ethereum's price has dropped nearly 50%, and Dogecoin's price has plunged nearly 60%. If you've been holding off on investing, this could be a good time to do it. Downturns in the market might be an excellent opportunity to buy the dip and invest while prices are at their lowest levels. However, not all cryptocurrencies are created equal, and some are more profitable than others. Which of the three cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, is the greatest fit for you? Here's all you need to know about it. Here are some reasons why Ethereum is the best fit for many, many investors. Ethereum is the second most popular cryptocurrency after Bitcoin, and it has its own set of benefits and drawbacks. The Ethereum blockchain is its most significant benefit. The blockchain enables developers from all around the world to create apps based on the technology, providing value beyond money. The Ethereum blockchain is used by non-fungible tokens and decentralized finance, for example. Ethereum will gain if those applications succeed. Ether, Ethereum's native cryptocurrency, may be required in all of these applications. As a result, if any of Ethereum's blockchain solutions become popular, Ether may become the most widely used coin. Ethereum's disadvantage is that its future is unknown. Blockchain technology is still in its infancy, and no one knows whether or not it will become generally accepted in the future. If it doesn't, Ethereum will struggle to compete with Bitcoin. Ethereum, a cryptocurrency, is undergoing substantial improvements to make it more scalable, secure, and long-lasting. Recent worries about network congestion, excessive pricing, and energy efficiency have prompted Ethereum's numerous technical teams to release updates that necessitate the creation of a new, unique version of the cryptocurrency. Stacy Elliott, a senior reporter for The Street's Crypto Investor, discusses how Ethereum's protocol has changed from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. By removing the duplication of labor inherent in the proof-of-work concept, the update will change Ethereum mining, making it considerably more efficient in terms of the amount of energy consumed and permitting faster and cheaper transactions. The beacon chain is being used by Ethereum to provide proof-of-stake to the Ethereum ecosystem. $14 billion sent to Ethereum 2.0 network. Yes, you heard it right, $14 billion. What exactly is staking? A system in which people choose to put their money in a network and keep it safe. Proof of stake is a method of validating transactions that differ from proof of work, which is presently used by Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several other networks. Meanwhile, to answer difficult riddles, the proof of work procedure consumes a lot of computing power and energy. According to Ether's scan data, Ethereum cryptocurrency owners have staked more than $14 billion worth of tokens on the Ethereum 2.0 network. According to Markets Insider, this is a significant increase from the $13.5 billion staked on Monday, demonstrating the rapidity from which Ethereum 2.0 is being adopted. Ethereum 2.0 marks a significant shift in the Ethereum blockchain's functionality. Now, many of you must be wondering, what is staking in all this? 
To stay decentralized, that is, without central authority, cryptocurrency networks use a consensus process, which means that all computers in the network can agree on what's going on at any one time without the intervention of a central bank. This implies that instead of a bank keeping track of transactions, everyone's computer can agree on which ones happened. Proof of work is a consensus method used by Ethereum and Bitcoin in which individuals employ computational power to maintain the network up to date in exchange for fresh tokens. Mining is the term for this procedure. However, there are drawbacks to proof of work, such as excessive energy consumption and unreasonably tight system requirements. It involves network users competing for the opportunity to update the network by informing it of any new transactions that have occurred. Proof of stake is a new consensus method that may solve some of the difficulties associated with proof of work. The proof of stake method allows Bitcoin users to contribute to network validation by staking a specific quantity of cryptocurrency. If they are the person who is chosen to update the network, they may be rewarded by receiving fresh tokens in exchange for their investment. They are more likely to be picked if they have a higher stake. If they attempt to attack the network, go down, or fail to validate the network, they will be penalized for losing a portion of their share. A stake is effectively locked after it is inserted. The authenticity of any new transactions that a user updates the network with is guaranteed by their staked tokens. Ethereum 2.0 is the new version of Ethereum that uses proof of stake. Users can stake their tokens in the Ethereum 2.0 network by paying Ether to a deposit contract which they must accomplish by following Ethereum's Launchpad product's instructions. If Ethereum users wish to become validators on the new network, they must invest 32 Ether, which is about $73,600. In December 2020, network engineers introduced the Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain. According to Morgan Stanley Research, staking might turn out to be one of the finest alternative investing possibilities for individual and institutional investors when compared to other asset classes. Aside from yield, JP Morgan, one of the world's top investment banks, claimed in research that intermediaries such as Coinbase are likely to be the greatest beneficiaries of staking, with staking expected to grow to $40 billion by 2025 from $9 billion now. The report's authors predicted that owning Bitcoin will provide a higher return on investment, making digital assets more appealing and speeding widespread adoption. The research states that yield obtained through staking might reduce the opportunity cost of holding cryptocurrencies versus alternative investments in other classes like U.S. dollars, U.S. treasuries, or money market funds that produce some positive nominal yield. We see the rates as an inducement to invest in the current zero-rate environment. Ethereum's upgrade to proof-of-stake will is key for staking industry. The switch to proof-of-stake by Ethereum with the introduction of the long-awaited Ethereum 2.0 next year will be a turning moment for the staking economy, according to the research. According to the authors, the staking business will grow to $20 billion in just a few quarters following the release of Ethereum 2.0 next year, and will eventually reach $40 billion by 2025. With Ethereum on the cusp of switching to proof-of-stake, the potential for investors to profit from staking will boost its widespread adoption, and the mining of the second most valuable cryptocurrency will come to a stop as a result of this shift. JP Morgan's positive report on the expanding staking business is based on two factors, the end of coin mining. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a variety of other currencies all require a significant amount of energy and computational power to validate transactions. As a result, carbon emissions and environmental danger are constantly present. One of the burning concerns among regulators and investors is Bitcoin's mining carbon emissions, which was one of the primary causes of the recent crypto market meltdown. Meanwhile, the shift to a proof-of-stake validation method will put a stop to the mining process for cryptocurrency generation and distribution. Yield through staking. Locking money in a network system would not only make transaction validation easier, but will also enable investors to receive a reasonable return on their investment. Staking not only lowers the opportunity cost of owning cryptocurrencies versus other asset classes, but it also pays a large nominal and real income in many situations, according to JP Morgan. 
According to statistics from stakingrewards.com, investors may currently earn up to 10% on staking cryptocurrencies like SOL or BNB. On their crypto accounts, Gemini, the Winklevoss Crypto Exchange, now promises yearly returns of up to 7.4%. According to the JP Morgan study, Coinbase is expected to generate $200 million from staking in 2022, up from $10 million in the previous quarter. That's all for this video. Let us know what price you think Ethereum will hit at the end of the year. What do you think about Ethereum 2.0 and staking? Do you believe the JP Morgan report on Ethereum 2.0? Comment down below.